Welcome back. I hope your week one implementation went well. So now we're beginning week two. Week two, we're going to spend much of our time talking about lesson planning. So let's talk about some key ways that we might want to begin the first days of school with our students. One of the key features in the Glencoe Math 2015 is the book begins with a mathematical practice handbook. So the mathematical practices handbook is like a playbook. Maybe you participated in sports or played piano, and at the beginning of any season or any year, you started with a songbook or a playbook to help you memorize the plays or the songs. By the end of the year, you knew those by heart and you felt very comfortable with them. That's the idea behind this Mathematical Practices Handbook. One of the easiest ways to find this is from your home page. Use your drop-down menu and it will be the very first thing here under Professional Development, the Mathematical Practice Handbook. I open that up and there are eight different lessons for the eight different mathematical practices. This can also be found in your print book or if you open your ebook. So uh, a great way to start the year with your students is by doing maybe all eight of these lessons or some of the ones that you feel your, your students would benefit from the most. So this is a great way to start your school year. Maybe go in and choose one of these mathematical practices uh, handbook lessons. And of course you can do them in the order that they're here or skip around and do them in any order. Once you choose a lesson, to get to that particular lesson, the easiest way is to open your ebook. And we haven't talked much about the ebook, but the beauty about the ebook is that whenever I click on this and open it, it's going to go directly to the page that has been put in this drop down menu. So let's open the ebook. So here's an example of a mathematical practice lesson. This is Attend to Precision. How can the everyday meaning of a word help you remember the math meaning? Scroll down, and this will take you through an example. So once you practice a mathematical practice example with your students, there is a chance for them to do it on their own, as well as to go find one in their book. So really a nice way to begin the school year and start off your school year with the eight mathematical practices. I encourage you to go into your teacher center, pull out your mathematical practice handbook, take a look and use one of these with your, with your class. Once you've tried one of these mathematical practice handbook lessons on your own with your students, please go into our quick start discussion forum and share your experience with other colleagues around the nation on how your students did with learning one of the mathematical practices. Thank you.